Jordan Chilani's my name is Jack Septicai and welcome back to Fuck so much. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna continue Simulacra right now. The last time we were in this, Taylor and Greg got together um in a group called Busted, where we did our best like busted song covers. Um, and we're, we came up with plans to try and break into a thing or go do it another way, it's a security company. Whatever, but we got some messages. We have one from, we can reply to Merv. Don't let me leave, Merv! Or we can reply to Ashley. Um, let's reply to Merv. Gonna be your giver for gifts of, you're gonna love what I have- Oh yeah, we had this. Um... Greetings, Merv! Greetings, fellow Merv! Anna, where have you been? Everyone's looking for you. Have they tried right here? Haha. <laughs> oh, also, something I wanted to talk about since the beginning, and every single episode I get into it, I get too involved in the story that I keep forgetting to talk about it. Uh, this game's called Simulacra, but there is a real term called sim simulacrum, which is a representation of something or someone. So it's like, if you've ever seen those, there's a a good example of this is the the video or the gif of the girl like staring in the mirror and then she turns around to the camera but the girl in the mirror is like still staring at you so it's like it's like an entity that imitates you in a way i think that, that's like a simplistic uh explanation for it but that's that's basically what it is so we could be a simulacrum right now, or the reason Anna keeps posting pictures of herself is because that could be the simulacrum. The phone itself could be the simulacrum. We don't know. So, either way, there might be two versions of Anna going around. Just be be mindful of that before we get to the end. Um, I need a favor. You never asked me for anything before. What gives? Uh, phone PC restore. That thing. Using another employee's PC is against policy. Why can't you do it yourself? Um, it's a secret company assignment, huh? I'm gonna be a spy. I'm going out into the world and I'm gonna do great things. But I'm caught up with something. I'm caught up with being missing. That can't be right. Shit. You are not Anna, are you? Fuck, I should have known. Okay, we are done. God damn it. Do you want me to leak your dirty emails? Ooh. Okay, so all of the answers are all exposing him, basically. I guess you like being known as a pervert? Do you want me to leak your dirty emails? Ah, uh, I was just gonna say blackmail. Good old blackmail. Get you anywhere. Is that what's happening? You know I can't get- I can get sued for sharing company secrets, right? If you still want access to Anna's computer, I am not doing it. What if I post your emails all over Jabber? And then everyone would be having a Jabber Jabber Ding Dong about them. How about I send your emails to HR? There we go, that'll get him. No, 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 no! Okay, I'll do it. It's hard to hold this job in this economy as it is. I need to get a password reset for her PC. For her PC. Why did I say it like that? But HR will text her phone to verify. You have to pretend to be Anna, otherwise they will never give me access. Ha! <laughs> I'm a pro! I've broken into everything else on her phone so far. You've done this before? Jeez. Just make it quick, okay? That's what she said. Um, let's talk to Ashley. Is this new? Sorry, last one real quick. You sound a little off. I'm just getting this feeling that there's something you're not telling me. I just want to remind you that you can tell me anything. You know that, right? No matter what, I'll still be here. Okay? Feel better soon. Yeah, you know why I don't sound like me? Because I'm a 27-year-old man from the UK. That's why, well, originally from Ireland, but that's why I don't sound like Anna. I decided not to call Victor back. Ah, uh, You remember him, right? Is that the guy with the giant testicles? Ooh, Victor, Victor, Victor. Who was Victor? I have no idea. I do not listen to anything you tell me. <laughs> It's not your boy. I don't really think it matters. The guy from the club? Yes! Oh, I'm a good best friend. I think he's just not right for me. Don't feel a connection, you know? You should always feel the connection, Ashley. Go with your heart. 
What's your type? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Am I too picky? Is there something wrong with me? Um, yes. I love you. Just the way you are. Maybe you need to talk to someone. Your problems are not special. Okay. Um, I love you just the way you are. <laughs> she just writes back, Oh my god, Bruno Mars, I love you! Love you too, we should totally get together soon, okay? Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh! This is HR. Hey Anne, got your password reset request, but I didn't see you in today. Is everything okay? Okay. Play it cool! <sighs> okay, I'm nervous. I was out with a client just now. You couldn't recognize me because of my new haircut. Client. At least then it sounds like- I was in and out of the bathroom. Got the beef tips, huh? Um, this one. Hmm, I didn't know you were assigned to servicing today. I must have missed something. Before I reset your password, can I run something by you first? <laughs> Do you think this picture of me in a thong looks good? <laughs> Anything. You know the report you handed to me last week? I finally got it. Oh, that. I'd almost forgotten about it. I hope everything is in order. Yes, but I do need to clarify something. It says here that you are making an official sexual harassment report against Merv. Oh, that was a week ago. So I already did that? Ah, oh, shit. So, let me just think this through. Wait, what the, what, the, what did I exactly did you say? You know the report you handed to me last week. So last week, this is before I even got the phone. So Anna herself put in a sexual harassment report against him. But I need his help to get through with stuff, and what if... Oh, what if that gets in the way of it? Oh, let's see what happens. Brought this up with my manager. And he told me to tell you to seriously think about this. Our company can't afford to get into a scandal right now. And sending lewd emails while technically is reportable, it is one of the- of the smaller offense. Oh, come on! Jesus, man. Oh, yeah. Uphold your fucking- Uphold your company image. Don't worry about sexual assault and harassment and abuse and all that shit going around in your company. Mm. That's ridiculous. His words, not mine. Why are people always, ah? Uh, you're a HR person. Why would you be using emojis talking about sexual harassment? So he suggests you drop the report while he will have a talk with Merv. Put it all behind and he might approve that study leave you've been meaning to get. But if you want, you can still let the report go through. Forcing Mr. Faraday's hand is just going to upset him. Oh! The right thing to do is to go through with it and report him, because fuck that guy. Um. I'm not hearing that right. Those are, like, those are, like, like, hard heel footsteps. Like, stiletto type footsteps. Okay. Um. But, for the sake of what I need to get done in the game. Ah, oh, fuck. What do I do? Okay, I'm looking for Anna. That, that's my main thing right now. I'm looking for Anna, so the study leave is kind of off the books right now. We don't even know if Anna is still alive or anything like that. I hope she is. Um, I'm just worried about having a talk with Merv and then him not being able to do the thing for me. Or then him turning around and saying, well, I'm not gonna fucking help you because you already dicked me over. Shit. I might hold it back. Just for the sake of using Merv. This is not what I would do in real life. I would fully and wholly support going for justice. You know what? Fuck that. Justice. Justice is more important. 
Okay, consider it done. Personally, I think you're doing the right thing. Oops, almost forgot, I just reset your password. See you at the barbecue. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Got the reset, and I'm in. Okay, so he's still doing it anyway. We got our justice! Still clear on your task? Yeah, yeah, get the phone back up, right? Give me a sec. Please don't, like, run into somebody at the office. Even if you're at the office. It's starting now. Gonna take a while to complete. That makes sense. I don't understand what's going on, but you're not the only one who wants access to this computer. Oh, are you gonna try and delete the fucking emails? There's someone else? While I'm waiting for the reset, some dude came by demanding to use Anna's computer. He caused quite a scene and security took him away. I think his name was Greg. <laughs> Fucking Greg, did he show up and they were like, Sir, we can't do that, and then he said, Fuck, it's so much! <laughs> Is he with you? I don't know that person. I'm sorry, I don't know a, a Greege? Gredge? G Greg? Uh, no, I don't know a Greg. Barging in here is a bad idea. So oh, fuck! <sighs> Every time. James? Security won't let this go easily. Finally, it's done. Did you get it? So, I'm glad we didn't go with Greg's plan, because obviously it didn't fucking work. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Oh, not again! Not again! Fucking Alner's back! I <laughs> don't like this! What do you want? Have you found her yet? No, I haven't! Getting closer, though. Hurry! Um, she is running out of time. Oh, shit. Um... Okay, let's try this one again. Hurry first. She's running out of time, but the other ones don't really make sense. Um, need you? She need you running out of time is? Running out of time. To need you, she is. Okay, fuck. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, you need to hurry. She is running out of time. Okay. She is running out of time. You need to hurry. There we go. Got it. I'm trying my best here, Alner, whoever you are. Holding on to this is not easy. The answer is in Spark? Oh. Who are you? How do you know? Where are you? What? How do I know what to look for? She met me. She met it. She met Pennywise? I'm not it. It is not me. Find me. Find it. Is she still alive? Time is short. If you fail, it's cool that the dates change. So the message I sent is the 13th, then it goes back, then it goes forward and back again. She will share my fate.
Are you dead? <laughs> nice emoji. What are you doing, man? Your eyes can't get any wider. There's no emoji. Oh shit, he's dead. Oh my fucking god, she fucking dead. Okay, this fucking picture again. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh, now she's smiling. You think we'd be used to that by now, but fuck, man. Oh wait, no, wrong one. Damn it, it froze for a bit. Did you get the backup? Yeah, I got it. Thanks, Merv! I've done everything you told me. Can I go now? I trust you were going to keep my chats with Anna a secret. I mean, technically I did. I kept them a secret, but Anna herself didn't keep them secret. Uh, so sorry, creep. You're done for. <laughs> You fucking fuck! I got an achievement saying that is not a compliment. I don't really think it matters what you do to Merv, I think. Might get busted anyway. <laughs> he said fuck, I was hoping the next message would be, it's so much! Okay, 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 relax, calm down. I have a vlogger that I need to watch. She has a new one. Okay, look at this. Look at this crap. This entire email is in the subject line, and it's all in caps. That's just rude. Like, internet rude. God, and my dumb colleague won't stop texting me. But would not. <laughs> oh God, I cannot wait to leave there. And work with animals. Yeah, because animals don't treat me like garbage. Still they waiting can. on my vet school application though. Hope I get it. Animals can treat you like garbage. Some of them literally shit on you. <laughs> we are temporarily suspending our tech director due to sexual assault allegations. There will be an investigation. Oh shit. We need to stand up against injustice like this. I am glad that action has been taken. Another tech company scandal. This. This is a step forward. So just an allegation will get you suspended. What's next? Gender separated office spaces? This is still under investigation. I guess we will know soon. Ah, dang, dog. We did it. We did the right thing. I'm glad we did that. Um Okay, which next? Mail. I'm trying to I'm trying to just get all the information first and then go for the the meat of the story parts. Um okay, that's news from Spark. Uh don't give two shits. What were you thinking, Anna? I told you to sacrifice sacri so told you to sacrifices must be made in the interest of the company. I see you, Merv. <laughs> I'm now certain you can only think for yourself. We are in the midst of renewing the contract of our biggest client, and now that Merv is under investigation, they are pulling out. Well, maybe your hiring process should be a bit better, and you should vet the people in your fucking company and stop them sexually harassing everybody else. Hope that you are happy. All you have done is to and of course. You, you you shine light on something that's like, this guy sent me all these emails, I have proof. Uh, do you wanna see? And then they're like, you didn't use only thinking about yourself and not the company? Fuck off, Faraday. Now this, I just had about enough of you. I'm giving you two choices. Come to my office and accept my official warning letter and leave a stain on your career or hand over your resignation letter. I'm pretty sure my lawyer would have something to say about those, you fuck. Um, what you fucking fuck? I was just called to HR. We had a fucking deal. Should have known you're going to set me up. Fuck off my life. Okay, yeah, fuck off life. Fuck shit. I think I'm in trouble. I went to Anna's workplace. Something bad happened. Yeah, I heard you dumbass. Yeah, fuck. I slipped up. Who knew going into a security company to try and use somebody else's computer that's not mine in a place I don't work at was gonna be so hard? How the heck I know that someone else would be at her computer? Could have asked me first. Uh, you ditched us? I told him to do it. 
Why are you involving more and more people into this mess? You have no sense of discreetness. This is real bad. The cops are involved now. Yeah. I have no idea about discreetness, said the guy who went to her workplace and shows his face everywhere. At least I'm still anonymous, you dumbass. Do you also know about your break-in? Merv made it real clear. I mean, they do know about your break-in. How the hell did they know about that? Fuck. It's a security company! Must be that nosy granny next door. Oh, that break-in. The one at her apartment. Okay, I get that. Never mind. Don't get the cops involved anymore. I cannot get another target on me. I will be arrested for sure. Yeah, great time to use emojis. Ah. Uh. Your secret's safe with me for now. You're still an asset. If something happens to me, I am dragging you down as well. I'm going to keep looking for Anna alone. You just stay quiet. Oh, you're gonna get yourself in more trouble. Mainly because- I'm not turning him in mainly because he was looking for Anna at her apartment and I'm an accomplice in that, so I might get in a lot of trouble for that, so we need to lay low for a little bit at least. Yo, yo, yo! I don't mean to rush, but it's been a while. Did the blackmailing work? Who's messaging right now? Oh, Taylor. Um, somewhat. We ran into some complications with the phone. So did it work or it didn't? Have you read the past Spark messages? Just read all of them and find out who did Anna meet with exactly. Make sure you get all of them. Oh yeah, they said that he- the guy, Alner, our demon friend, said that the answer was in Spark. And here we were talking about somebody- she met somebody through Spark, so... Haven't read it yet. I'll be back. Uh, isn't that what we came for? Make sure you check all of the past Spark messages, especially the other guys. I'll wait till you're done. But it said there was 99 plus messages! Oh, sweet mother of fucking Jesus. Um, I think we might have a culprit. Mr. 166 plus messages corrupted? Uh, except when you have legally changed. Oh yeah, I didn't... Your name kinda sucks. Oh, poor Bruce. I like my name. The fucking footsteps again. Have you stopped walking around inside my head? So what you up to? Uh, nothing much, just chilling. JC, dog. Chillin' is always better with company. Drinks? Uh, it's not a good idea. It's okay! Fuck! Hello, can you hear me? This is Detective Marillo from the police department, again. One of your colleagues reported that someone is attempting an unauthorized access to your work computer to retrieve some sensitive information. This is a case of corporate espionage, and we have reason to believe that a man named Greg Summers is behind it. I'm informing you that your personal data has been compromised, and that Greg is now wanted for questioning. If you have any information on his whereabouts, please contact me on this number. Thank you, and good day. Well, Greg, you're kind of fucked. Okay, Bruce, I'm not gonna talk to you, because I think you're just a... a sidetrack. Um... Well... I wasn't gonna stand in the way of justice, one way or another, right? <laughs> Fucking Greg, man. Greg would not do well in prison if he gets arrested. Also, did he say they're in conjunction with corporate espionage? Instead of corporate? Weird. Um, let me guess. Cat person? Too easy. Bet you get that wrong half the time. Okay, we're in for a fucking... We're in for a life story here, people. Settle, settle down, buckle up. Got it right every time so far. How many times is that? Once. Not the spark newbie. Good thing you showed up. I was starting to get- it was starting to get dull. What? Can't find any matches? For real, this is your first chat on Spark? I have some, but by that I mean one. That can't be true. It is! Cross my heart. What's wrong with her? I'd rather talk about you. Sorry, just new to this. Got some really, really strange matches. Oh dear, hope I'm all right so far. I'll take normal over anything at this point. Good morning. That's really where you end your conversation? So weird. Good morning! What are you doing up so early? I'd ask you the same thing. Work starts at 7 for me. Yikes. Yup. 
What do you do? You'll never guess what surveillance tech. Funny. You don't seem like the techie. I'm not. How about you? Oh, Jesus. Um... Uh... I? It's the only capital to start off with. I am making crappy copywriter. <laughs> I am making... Stuff. It... Ah, oh, fuck. Oh shit, I keep scaring myself! Uh, I... Am a copywriter. It... Oh wait. I am a crappy copywriter? There we go. I'm a copywriter. I just assumed that he was a crappy copywriter. <laughs> That's mean of me. <laughs> I'm a copywriter, making crappy stuff sound better than it looks. You must be a smooth texter then. Is there any reason of doing these? I can kind of just look at the conversation anyway. Only when it comes to seducing corporate clients, lol. You still with them? It didn't work out. So if you ever thought of putting on power suits and writing for big brands... Uh, fresh. My position, no, my fresh ideas, my position is still open at fresh ideas, ideas fresh, <laughs> there we go, so I know what the sentence is supposed to be more or less, but it's always written in a different kind of way. Oh, you don't even need to do this. Your problems are solutions. Fresh ideas. Okay, so that's why it's spelled like that. I was like, are you just trying to be PH cool? I think it will pass. Why stick around? Where? Your job. You hate it, right? Oh, yeah. How'd you know? Just making a guess. You got me. You think I should just quit? Totes. Dude, you should totes quit, man. So I'll just walk up to my boss and say, hey, I don't want money, okay? Thanks, bye. <laughs> I'm not kidding, Anna. If it's not right for you, just walk away. Like you did with your previous guy. How did you know? Okay, Spark is Rebound City. For most people anyways, I just took a guess. Um, James? Bit worried about you. Oh, our battery's actually dying. You stalking me? Um, you have... An unnatural talent of guessing my backstory. I got that one perfect. First try. First try! Didn't have to, Anna. You're an open book and so easy to read. I just connected the dots. I also searched you on every social media I could find and I love you. Okay, smart guy. What else can you read? I think you should just take a break from everything. From the job you hate, from the previous guy. Whatever happened, take a vacay and start new. That's so what I need right now. For a guy I barely met, how come you know so much about me? Call it intuition. Or call it restraining order. So much of an ass is he? Who? The guy you dumped. You really want to know? Let's trade. Tell me about the first spark girl. You really want to know? You started it. Fair enough. When I first started out, um, I matched with this girl named Cassie. Also, oh wait, also known as at Keeping It Cassie. Is that name familiar? I feel like we've met a Cassie in this game. She's cool, but she is like some big social media person or something. I'm not a fan of that. No way. So you passed a Jabber Celeb? Are you even real? That's where I heard the name. She was in here. It's the one that he follows. She follows, I should say. Sorry, I'm getting all confused. Um, Cassie, this lady. Can I check her profile? Whatever. I fucking like it. Shit. No, yes. Oh, crap. Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought I would remember where I was. Okay, we're almost there anyway. Passing a jabber celeb, are you even real? Told you, too much attention. You're a weird. Good weird? Good weird. So, boy problems. I'll give you one guess what he did. He cheated on you. Yup. Typical. I know, right? Were there any signs? 
That's the thing. None. Zero. I guess sometimes you can never tell. Or is it just me? Am I blind? Hey, don't say that. Maybe he was good to you. So you saw the good parts of him. Of anybody. And that makes you good. To a degree, yes. If you try and see the good in all people, that's a really nice quality to have. It means you're optimistic about people and you're not cynical. But also, too much in that direction makes you naive. So, there's a, there's a fine balance. Wow, did you ma just make that up? Is it working? <laughs> Here's something else, James. I'll take that as a compliment. Keep that up and I'll let you see the good parts of me. You did not. Okay, if we keep talking, I'm gonna miss work. Speak soon. You should totally record yourself quitting your job. You don't sleep, do you? 6.09 p.m. Why would he be sleeping? Turning with you is more fun. Recording myself quitting isn't, though. You'll inspire the generation, Anna. You'll also make sure that you're nev never hired again because people won't be able to trust you in your job if you record yourself quitting and you think that that's a good idea. I'm not inspiring anybody. I want to go back to school first. College? Which kind? Vet. Now that sounds more like you. It does? Totally. Which one are you going to? I applied for UC, but I got rejected. Bastards. Tell you what, I'll teach you how to apply for colleges like a pro. Isn't it just filling up forms? Hey, I'll write you a kick-ass application. How? Um, meet me this weekend and I'll show you. James is the culprit, isn't he? He's the one she met. Oh, I only figured out one and I did them all. Smooth. Fine, but you better actually be useful. I can think of a few things we can use. Like what? Depends on my mood. Fine, I'll find out myself. Saturday night, 7 p.m., uptown. You're uptown, funk you up. You're lucky that's good timing for me. See ya, see you soon. Be there in an hour. I'm here, where are you? I see you. Oh, such a creepy way to end it. Ooh, are you done yet? Some of these restore apps need some additional manual solving. Make sure to restore all of the spark messages. Leave no stone unturned. Anna- Oh, that was him! Ulner! James Ulner! His- Oh, I didn't even connect the picture with the corrupted picture of the Ulner guy! That's him! That's our guy! He said to find him and you'll find Anna. James, huh? Sounds pretty normal, actually. Did you think his name was gonna be Lucifer or something? I would imagine the culprit to have a scarier name. What else you got? He's unnaturally good at guessing Anna's past. He met up Kazi. He was a... Let's just do this one. Sounds like stalker material to me. I wonder if there's a way to confirm this. Could talk to Cassie. No way. What a player. She's like a Jabber celeb. Hope she's alright. She looks active on Jabber. If we can somehow talk to her. Maybe she can share what she knows about him. Okay, that's our next port of call. And he works for a firm called Fresh Ideas. We could look that up on the internet. That's a pretty cheesy name, even for my taste. Maybe someone there can tell us what's up with him. Looks like we got enough to start with this James fellow. It's close, I can feel it. Yeah, me too. I want to be optimistic about it. I don't want to assume that she's just dead. That's what I like to hear. You got the most Im most resources to figure out who this James person is. I think you can track this Cassie person down and call his workplace. Dig a little more about him. Track Cassie first. As long as you do both, I leave it up to you. You could help. In the meantime, I will give Spark a call. Maybe they have something on this James person. Okay, there we go. Initiative. Um, alright, let's go to Jabber. Talk to Keeping It Cassie. Uh, Cassie? Cat- oh, Don't like it! Cassie. How do I- Do I have a follower or following tab? People I'm following? Okay. Something to think about by Madison Mike. I fear the day that technology will surpass our human interaction. The world will have a generation of idiots. 
Wait, I commented on this? Okay. Says the guy who posted this on Jabber. That is kind of ironic. <laughs> Talking about technology surpassing human interaction, and this is how you're doing it. Apply cold water to burn area. Anna, where the heck are you? Okay, how do I get in touch with Cassie? Let's see my contacts for a second. Um, I wonder if James is in there. No. Is Cassie in there? <laughs> By any chance? No. Okay, we gotta do a little digging. Since the, the Cassie thing isn't progressing right now, he did send me a link about his workplace. Wherever it was, here we go. Let's open this. Your problems are solutions. Impressive web design, branding, join us. Follow details below, one of our representatives will contact you soon. Okay, Anna... Wait, what's Anna's second name? Anna. Just Anna. Okay. Uh, is it on her jabber? No. Her second name is Anna Demon. Uh, Anna, and she's 22. Okay. Anna, email. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on a sec. Chats. Wait, is that gone? The stuff from Iris? Iris set me up with some stuff. Like an email and shit. Crap! The mails were there a little while ago. It was like Sean921 or something, wasn't it? Um, picked up, um... Do I- can I see my... To Anna at cmail.web. Okay. Got it. Um. Position? Copywriter. That was fucking fast. Dear Anna, thanks for your interest in joining our ever-growing family. Before we commence the interview, it is our policy to engage a preliminary chat with all of our applicants beforehand. When you're ready, please contact our HR representative, Phil. He will guide you through the entire process. Okay, we're making progress. Start interview. Doing an interview over text message? Alrighty. This conversation will be recorded for internal use. Got it. Hey, Dr. Phil. Howdy there. Is this Anna? Is this Anna2479? Yes, this is me. Neato. I'm Phil. Nice to meet you, Phil. From Fresh Ideas. Or, or Phil Fresh, as some of my buds call me. Get it? Feel fresh? Are you friends of Taylor by any chance? This is just an informal chat, so juice just... Loosen up, loosen up, and save it for the big interview later, eh? Oh, okay, so this is just- oh, the preliminary! Duh. So, you ready? Uh, yep, ask away. Coolio! Five years from now, what do you see yourself doing? Uh, don't say doing your wife, don't say doing your wife, don't say doing your wife. Doing your son? <laughs> Made an impact on your company's bottom line, develop the skills to manage other people, get to the point where I can tell people what to do. This one. See? Make a direct impact on your company's bottom line? Sounds a bit too ambitious. Develop the skills to manage other people? Sounds a bit too like, this is what I want to do. I don't want to do the work, I just want to manage other people. Or get to the point where I can tell people what to do. Maybe... What in doubt, middle it out. Good in for the manager, eh? Well, we are a tiny firm. Anything can happen in five years. Next question. 
Why should I hire you? Because I really, really, really want it. I am so pretty. <laughs> I've learned stuff which might bring unique value. I got other talents besides writing because I want to be the very best. Like no one ever was. If you hire me, I will teach you how to Pokemon. I don't know if anything I'm answering actually has significance. I'd be glad to know what those stuff are. Last question. Why do you want to work here? I want to find Anna. James Allner spoke highly of you guys. Do you know him? There we go. Get the name in. James? Haven't heard that name in a while. Sorry, bud. Why are you asking this? Okay, we have a dialogue open. As I won't repeat his mistakes. I want to know what working for you is like. He said you guys fired him unfairly. Okay, she turned around and I was like, James has been dead for 10 years. Oh boy. Nothing of that sort happened. Let me clear it up. We had to let him go because of his unprofessional behavior. Uh, did he screw up? Well, not at first. To be frank, no, you're Phil. I'm not in the liberty to discuss any personal matters. All I can say socially, he was one of our best. He gets along with people well and generally likable. But that kind of changed. Maybe he was possessed. What changed? What, what do you mean? He broke off with his girlfriend and of course he was upset. But he is still himself until he got spark. Since then he's been showing up late. He grew distant. The one day he... Then one day he just vanished. Oh! He went into the bathroom for quite some time. Then I heard a strange noise coming from it. I even recorded it. Listen. Oh, I don't want to hear this. It's the fucking voice from before. The people just get sucked into the phone or something? I went in and to check and no one was there. That was the last time anyone saw him in person. So maybe he's in the software. And that's why he's trying to get out and that's why he's able to message me all corrupted. Cause he's saying find me or she will share the same fate. Oh. So he's just gone? Yup. Since then, he never showed up for work. No phone calls, no emails, nothing. So we terminated him. Plus our big project coming up, we don't really need it right now. Wait, so you said he went missing and that he hasn't shown up since. And I said that James told me you fired him unfairly. So... You're not at all curious about that? Like, the timelines do not match up at all. Even if he got fired, and then I talked to him, and then you terminate it. Like, none of that makes any sense. That's weird. What's weirder is that after he disappeared, we found his phone on his desk. We tried checking it, but I think it was broken because it kept glitching out. Some say they still see him on Jabber. Some female friends even saw him on Spark. Whatever happened to that kid, I think he needs help. Professional help. Sorry, went off on a tangent there. Thanks for the interview. We will call you if you got the position. Starting to figure some shit out! The phone had something to do with it. Spark had something to do with it. Oh, Ashley wants to talk. Wait, hold on a bit. Call his workplace. Fresh ideas, isn't it? What have you got for me? James went missing as well. No way. This kind of confirms what I found as well. Calling fresh ideas is a great plan. I think we got some great leads. So you spoke to Cassie? She might be able to share some intimate secrets about James, if you know what I mean. Okay, no, I haven't talked to her yet, but also my girl Ashley wants to talk. Of course. 
One of my- oh, by the way, I'm not saying anything about this because one of my, um... Missions, how do I actually access that? Isn't it just do that? One of my things... Yeah, here. Um, make sure that Ashley never finds out about Anna's disappearance. So that's one of the things I have to keep in mind and that's why I'm not talking about it. Also, somebody posted here. Me every Wednesday. It's business time. Ha 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 ha. You remember when I told you to make a Spark profile? You made one for me? It made me realize something. It was a defense mechanism for something. Something that I can't hide anymore. Ever feel like you could lie to yourself so much you end up lying to others? You're not alone to feel that way. Might be different in my case though. I'm a demon. Here's the thing. Anna, you're the only bestie I ever had. I feel like I could tell you anything and trust you with anything. Oh, Ash. So I thought having BFF supposed to feel like this, but I think I'm confusing it with something else. Are you in love with me? I think there's a reason why I... CLD could <laughs> never get along with guys. Because you're a lesbian. And it's the same reason why I hated seeing you with Greg or anyone else. I'm just gonna cut to the chase, okay? I have feelings for you. There, I said it. You don't have to respond, you can ignore this if you want and pretend it never happened. It's the fourth glass talking, so don't listen to it. Hey ma'am, whatever you need to get get your feelings out, at least you're honest with yourself and with me now. Now you know. It's the first step. It gets easier then after that. I don't like any of these responses. I don't know if Anna feels the same. And I, she's not being silly. Though maybe that's how a friend would react if somebody told them that. I don't know. Sorry, I can't keep this up anymore is not a good one, so... I don't know which to answer, so I'm just going middle again. You're right. Sorry, I'm just rambling because of the booze. Just ignore that, okay? I'll see you soon. Aw, Ashley. I didn't want to shoot you down like that. Oh. Here we go. So, I'm gonna download Spark. Yes, online dating is happening, but I figure I deserve to be happy and forget about everything else. And there's no point in wasting time, so here I go. That's the worst that could happen. Okay. <laughs> oh, famous last words. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, I don't know. You could turn into a possessed demon inside a phone. Maybe that's why she's smiling and looking at me. Maybe this is actually her in the phone, in the software. Ugh, that's creepy. I don't want to think about that. Okay, anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. Next episode, I think, is going to be our last one. I think after this, we're in the home stretch and then we're finally going to figure out what happened. But we're starting to get some running theories. We're starting to get our brain around what's actually going on. Something about the iris software, because that was what was from Sarah is missing. The iris software was very creepy in that. So it seems like Spark is the answer to this. Seems like if you're needy and you want to go online and meet someone that Spark kind of... I don't know. My theory is that people are being sucked into the phone. And now they're actually in the software, in the phone, trying to get out. I don't know. We'll see what happens. That, that's just my my running thing going on right now. It could be completely different. Who knows? But I'm excited to figure out what the hell is actually going on. We're getting there. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like a boss! And... I've all around. Whoosh! Whoosh!
But thank you guys now and see you on the dudes! That was a very quick hour of recording. That did not feel like an hour at all.